Hello! Long time no see, I know, but I have been moving, so I didn't have time to make videos. And that is also why it is March 11th, halfway through the month already, and I'm barely now doing my February wrap-up and March TBR video. Let's get started! In February I read 12 books. The first one was Scarlet by A.C. Gowen? Not sure how to say that name. But it is a spin on the Robin Hood story and it, I actually found it really interesting. Scarlet, or Will Scar as everyone knows her, um, pretends to be a boy in Robin's gang of thieves and she's actually really good at thieving. It was pretty good so I gave it 4 stars. And uh, P.S. It is written in Irish slang, which at first I found a little confusing, but eventually once you get used to it, it's actually pretty cool. And I read Branded by Carrie Taylor, and I don't know why my Kindle makes the pictures so tiny, but yeah. It was really interesting. It's about a girl who has nightmares where she stands in for people on their judgment day, and she receives their scars and their wings and everything and she doesn't sleep because every time she sleeps she gets these nightmares and then she meets a boy and well the adventure begins I guess I liked it I gave it four stars I actually seem to be giving four stars on most of the books that I read I've noticed it is the first book in the Fall of Angels series. As far as I know, there are three books out and a mini novella. I haven't read those yet and I don't know when I'm, I will read them, but I'm hoping to eventually because I'm curious to see what happens next. And I read The Witches of Santa Ana, the first set. It's by Lauren Barnhold and Aaron Gorvine. It wasn't bad exactly but it wasn't my cup of tea so I gave it three stars. It's supposed to be a collection of seven books in this one edition however I think it's more of a seven short stories in one edition. There's supposed to be another set. Um, there is another set but I don't know if I will read it because honestly it didn't like said not my cup of tea. And then I finished Shadowhunters and Downworld or Downworlders. I can never say this word right. Um, by Cassandra Clare and a bunch of YA authors. And I did a video review on that if you want to go check it out. It was pretty good. I gave it four stars. And I definitely found it very interesting the different essays and discussions about the Mortal Instruments series. I definitely enjoyed it and as a fan of Cassandra Clare's books I found it to be a good part of my collection. And then The Indigo Spell by Rochelle Mead came out. That is the third book in the Bloodline series which is a spin-off off of the Vampire Academy series and uh, I really like it and this particular book was amazing. And I gave it five stars because I just couldn't stop reading it and I couldn't stop laughing and oh, Adrian, would you be my friend? You're so awesome. Seriously. Enough said. Then I watched Warm Bodies and I got the book and I read it and I don't have the copy of it with me because I gave it to a friend to read and then she read it and I gave it to another friend to read. So now I don't have the copy of it with me but I will get it back eventually. Um, the point is I really liked it and uh, I really liked how they did the movie in comparison to the book. I did do a video review on it however my computer crashed so I never actually uploaded it and I haven't had time to see what I can salvage from it so video review might be coming up or it might not I don't know. I did give it 4 stars though, not 5, because I'm extremely picky and nitpicky. After that, I read over the course of a weekend 
three books, which were Shiver by Maggie Steve Batter, the second book, Linger, and the third book, Forever. These are the books of the Wolves of Mercy Falls series, and uh, it is a story of a girl who was attacked by wolves when she was a kid, and one of the wolves saved her and then six years later, it turns out that the wolves are actually humans who turn into wolves when it's cold. And she has developed a connection to the one wolf who saved her and then she finds out he's a boy and they fall in love and the adventure begins and I'm going to stop talking about it now because, well, I can't tell you what happens in them if you haven't read them. But I did like them, I gave them 4 stars each, and uh, I definitely enjoy them. And then I don't even remember why I got it, but I did get Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carger, which is the first book in the Finishing School series. The second one comes out later this year. and Yes, I have pre-ordered it on Amazon already because I did like it. It's a little bit on the younger YA side. The main character is only 14 years old, but I did enjoy it. So I would definitely read the second one when it comes out. Again, I gave it four stars. Apparently that seems to be the theme with me, but what are you gonna do, right? And uh, it is the story of 14 year old Sophronia who gets sent off to finishing school because her mother can't put up with her anymore. I mean, for crying out loud, she can't even curtsy properly. So, she goes to finishing school, where her mother hopes they would teach her how to be a proper lady. And when she gets to the finishing school, Sophronia finds out that oh, the school is special. In addition to teaching you how to be a lady there, they also teach you how to finish stuff. Everything and everyone, if you must. And on the back here, there's a comment from Mary Lou, who is the author of the Legend Trilogy, which I still haven't read, but I will eventually someday. She says, absolutely charming, comical, and full of whimsy. And it is. It is the perfect steampunk version of Harry Potter. And I totally agree with that. It is. It's pretty great. I mean, nothing can compare it to Harry Potter, because Harry Potter was just amazing, but this ain't bad. I believe those are my 12 books that I read in February. Quite a lot, and I especially read a lot towards, towards the end of the month, but that happens sometimes with me when I start reading and I don't stop, and then on the other side, I haven't really read anything for the past two weeks, and I'm going a little insane, because I love reading. Reading is my world, but moving. And a quick note, four of those books that I read, I read for a challenge, which was a February challenge. It was due by the end of the month, and I only signed up for it like a week before the month ended. But I still succeeded to read all the books requested, which was four books that have a heart on the cover, and it couldn't be a red or pink heart. It could be any other color, but it could not be red or pink. And I actually ended up being the first one to finish that challenge. So I was pretty proud of myself. Okay, so when I signed up for the challenge, I had already read Shadowhunters in Downworders. And uh, when I decided to do the challenge before I signed up for it, I checked what books I had read thus far. And this was one of them. And I picked it because over there, when they're shaking hands or whatever, this looks like a heart. And it's not red, it's not pink, it's uh, orangey of some sort. So this was my first heart. And then the second one was why I picked up this trilogy to begin with. Um, it has these leaves on the front look like heart. Technically they're leaves and I realized that. However, they do look like hearts and even if you take off the jacket, which I'm having problems with, there's 
this is on the inside and it looks like a heart too so I get extra points for that I was very creative with my heart so I think I should get lots of lots of lots of extra points I realize now that I forgot to mention two of the books that I read one was Alice in Zombieland by Jenna Showalter which I don't have the copy of because I gave it to a friend to read and uh, it has hearts, like up there, down here. So that was my other book and another one that I read that I forgot to mention earlier. It is a spin on Alice in Wonderland, except there is zombies added. In your everyday variety war against evil. It's actually pretty great. I gave it five stars, which if you've noticed doesn't happen a lot. But yeah, I couldn't stop reading it. And I really enjoyed it. So, five stars. Also, it is a, the first book in the White Rabbit Chronicles. There's a second book called Alice Through the Zombie Glass that's supposed to come out in the fall this year. So, I'm excited to read it because I really enjoyed it and it was great. And then the other book that I forgot to mention, which I'm really not surprised that I forgot about it was Heart by Oliver Francis and it has a very cool heart on the cover it's um, it engraved in wood it's pretty neat except that is the only neat thing I found about the book it is a collection of three essays about love and romance and while the stories had potential I felt like it was underdeveloped and I gave it two stars because it really pained me to finish it. I did, but it was hurtful. I'm sorry, but it just felt underdeveloped somehow. So those were my books for February. Moving on to my March TBR. I started reading The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chop Ch Chopsky. It doesn't have the jacket cover because when I read books I tend to take the jacket off and I haven't finished it yet so that is why I haven't put the jacket back on. But anyway, I watched the movie and I really loved it so I decided to read a book. So far I'm liking it. I'm not very far in. I'm like a third or a quarter or something like that. Not very far. But I do like it. And I will finish it eventually. Um, I was supposed to finish it back in February, but I was not able to because of the move. Also, Requiem, Requiem just came out by Lauren Oliver. It is the third book in the Delirium series. I have read the other two and I enjoy them, so I am looking forward to reading this one. I should have read it by now, but I haven't had time, so hopefully I will be able to soon. And then I was in Menards the other day and completely randomly I decided to look through the books that I have and I got this little booklet, Twelfth Night Secrets by Jane Feather and I started reading it last night so now I have to finish it. It's, um, it's interesting so far. haven't really, really read much, only like a chapter or so, but I like it and it's tiny so it shouldn't take me all that long. There are a few more books coming out this month that I'm planning on reading but since they haven't come out yet I don't have the physical copies of them. That being said, the first one of the books that I don't have but it's coming out soon, in fact tomorrow, is Poison by Bridget Zinn and I think it's about witches, I'm not sure, but it looked interesting and has a cool cover. So I decided to order it and I did pre-order it a while ago, so I'll let you know how it is. The next one, which I'm most excited about, and it's my most anticipated book this year, I think, is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare which is the third book in the Inferno Devices series, which if you don't know what that is, um, you should go and read them because they're awesome. Okay, 
and I'm super excited to read it. It comes out on February 19th, I think. I have pre-ordered it, so I will receive it when I get home. It should be waiting for me. I really want to know what happens with Tessa and Will and Jam and everyone, so I'm excited. And then the other book that I'm planning on reading this month and is coming out on March 26th, it's Twice Tempted by Janine Frost. It is the second book in the Night Prince series, which is in the world of the Night Huntress series, which is another series that I love. And it's an adult book, it's not YA, but hey, I gotta read those two sometimes, okay? Because I'm an adult. And now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go and pack. So, see you later. Bye!